What's going on lawn crew? It's Aaron with Lansing Lawn Service. Today I am going to be using a welder for the very first time right after this. I am doing some welding today. I bought a small little welder from Menards. This thing only cost me $109. It was on sale last week for $99. I should have bought it then, but I really felt like since I had the time this afternoon, I needed to make some repairs on the trailer. Um, and let me show you those now. So the back gate, these welds, I've done some welding already. These welds here broke. And so I've been going around fixing those um, and then I'm going to weld a few extras in there uh, just to fix those up. Also, this pin here, this hinge pin here, when I purchased this trailer on the way home, this thing right here, I'm not going to touch it, it's pretty hot still. Um, this little washer that they welded on right here, it actually fell off on the way home. And so this thing has been slinging free since I bought it. There was a little pin in here. There's a little hole there. Uh, that pin has since fallen out. I just have to buy a new one now. And then what I can do is I can actually flip this thing around so the washer's on the outside here. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Also these springs broke. Um, both of them broke. Uh, the gate isn't that heavy so I'm not too worried about those. They're supposed to help assist in picking up the gate but I don't care about that. So. I was finally able to get that welded on. There's been a few times when the gate has rattled and this pin has been way out here. Um, and I almost lost the pin. I don't want to do that. So that is where we are at, guys. That's why I purchased the welder, just to fix a few things that uh, need to be fixed. And I've got some holes in the trailer that I've made, like in the tubing, that I would like to fill in. Like this one here. So that it just doesn't rust any longer. Um, so fill those in and hopefully fill them in anyway. I don't know if I can or not. Um, and, you know, things like that. Little things like that that would really make a difference with this trailer and make me feel safer on the road. So let's talk about the welder. All right, this welder came with a few things. So this is the little but mighty welder here. That's not the name. It's Campbell Hossfeld. And uh, it's part of the welder series. They, This is the smallest unit. Then they step up from there, and again from there, and again from there, and again from there. So you got, what came with it was some of the electrode sticks some of the welding sticks um, here, a whole pack of them. I've already gone through one, almost through my second. Um, you can plug it into a regular outlet, as you can see there, which is really nice. That's why I got it. Um, it's not going to do your heavy duty welding, guys. This is not what this was made for. This was made for very kind of light welding and um, even like artistic welding like for art so it, it's like a hobby welder again for 109 bucks you can't go wrong I also got this little face shield uh, with the kit it works okay I'd rather have a helmet but I wasn't gonna spend like 30 bucks on a helmet I'm just gonna use this thing until I get sick of holding it and then I'll get a mask when I have to do more welding so all right so I'm gonna get using this welder I have never welded before today now I have seen people weld and I've helped people weld or hold things as they were welding um, but I've never actually used a welder myself and so today is a great experiment for me so let's see how this thing works and maybe it might be right for the little jobs that you need. Let's go! Okay guys, so the next weld that I'm going to be doing is this one right here. As you can see, the wire mesh has busted. 
I'm going to do this one, and I'll probably do this one while I'm over here too. All of these except for the top one and the bottom one on this are broken right now, so they all need to be redone, and I'm going to add a few more. So let's go. Okay, some things you are going to need before you start welding. A pair of welder's gloves. They are a must-have. You're going to get burns all over if you don't use them. A face mask of some sort or goggles to protect your eyes. Very important. Very important. Also, if you're using a face mask like this, you should wear a hat or a hard hat. Something to protect your hair. You're playing with electricity and fire here, folks, so be careful. Another thing you want to wear, a good pair of work boots. Um, you want to be grounded. All right, let's get at it. Okay, so one thing I didn't know is that you can actually melt the metal that you're welding. If you can see that right there, I actually melted that. So, i got to fix that now. Uh, yeah, it just completely disintegrated it, so i got to tack that on there. Welding is a lot harder than it looks, guys. Alright, so, as I said, welding is harder than it looks. Now, there's two settings on this welder. There's a little switch there. And there's a high and a low. And I started on the high, that's when I melted that. So I switched it to low and did a little bit better. Now, it's not, it's not going anywhere right now, which is good. Um, now I'm going to tack a few of these others, but that is what I'm going to show you today. Uh, otherwise, this is going to be a long video because I'm really slow. So, guys, for what it is, for the price that it is, um, the Campbell Cosfeld is quite 
a deal at Menards. I bought this at Menards. Came in like a kit. It's awesome. I'm telling you, if you need some little small stuff welded, instead of paying somebody to do it, like 100 bucks an hour, just go out and buy your own welder for 100 bucks, and you're all set for a long time. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you once I get this trailer finished.